Now, businesses across the world increasingly expect access to the finance they need in real time. They also want it in a way that works best for them in any country and currency without historical constraints. There's growing demand from organisations for cross-border payments that are predictable, secure and cost-effective for financial institutions and their corporate clients. Yeah, these are themes which we've been looking at throughout the week, really, and it's mm. that phrase, real time, that you can actually track these payments, you can see them happening, and it's the reassurance that they give, because, you know, you can get, you can get your money, but you need it quickly, particularly if you've got people who depend on you, you've got to pay your workers, mm -hmm. it's this whole chain, so this is why speed is of the essence, and also security as well, and the amount of data which gets out there. Sorry, I'm going off a tangent. Well, time is money, <laughs> Julia. I think that makes the point quite clearly. I think that makes the point quite clearly. I'm too immersed in this, but look, we're going to look at this in a bit more detail, because I'm delighted to say that we're joined by Ben Ellis. Now, Ben is the global head of Visa B2B Connect, and we're going to explore the cross-border B2B landscape in a little bit more detail. It's so good to see you. Can you tell us, I mean, what is this cross-border landscape? What does it look like? Well, thank you. It is terrific to be here and it's terrific to be back in person at Cybus. Uh, in a word, I would say the cross-border landscape is complicated and it's complicated because you have a lot of different markets, a lot of different regulatory environments, a lot of different uh, 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 business practices where you're trying to make payments to. And so it sounds very easy. We'll just get a payment and deliver it anywhere, any where in the world, anytime, make it work. Uh, but in practice, it's a lot more complicated and it's hard. The in-between, basically. The exactly. <laughs> exactly. It, 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 it is more complicated than it sounds. So it's a complicated subject, but I think what everyone here at Cybus is going to want to know is how are the businesses being impacted? You know, it's a good question. And, and when you look at businesses and you talk to them and, and you survey them, and we did this a couple of years ago, what you find is about 70% say that they have pain points. And the pain mm. points are around knowing when the money will arrive, mm. around knowing how much money will arrive, about knowing, well, gee, if I need to investigate and have questions in the midstream along the way, how can I do that, right? And so these are challenges that businesses have because they're trying to get their business done and run their business. They just want the payment to happen and, and go through. Absolutely, because they've got supply chains and these supply chains, they have to be satisfied. But that's from the business perspective. What about consumers? I think consumers have uh, similar challenges as well too, although in many regards, I think consumer uh, cross-border payments, international payments, they, they have complexities, but they have different complexities mm. for the business, right? In, in a business, if, if I'm invoiced a certain amount of funds, those are the funds that I need to pay to my supplier, right? If I'm sending a remittance to a family member, yeah, you want the money to go through, but if it's off by a penny or yeah. two, it might not go It's not the same level of urgency in many ways. That's right. That's exactly right. Another high level, Ben, what's the opportunity here for Visa? Well, I think it's a terrific opportunity for Visa because if you take a look at what we've done and been doing for decades, we've been building robust technology, we've been building a multilateral network at scale, banks grade uh, uh, quality, and really, really making it you know, a, a terrific way to pay and get paid. And we've taken that same concept and idea that we've been doing for decades, and how can we apply that on the business side with B2B Connect, Visa B2B Connect, to build a global multilateral network for B2B payments. Yeah, and let's, uh, let's focus on Visa B2B Connect because what I'd like to know is what does it actually offer to customers and what role do you see it playing in Visa's overall cross-border money movement strategy? Because clearly it's an essential part of that. Yeah, so what, what B2B Connect, uh, Visa B2B Connect offers uh, to financial institutions is the ability to offer a service to their corporate clients that allows them to send B2B payments uh, to more than 100 markets around the world, right? With security, with predictability, with finality, in a way that addresses some of these pain points that we mm. talked about earlier. And basically the real-time experience. That's exactly right. Mm. So why did Visa decide to build this capability from, from the ground up? Uh, we built it from the ground up because when we looked at what was out there and what were the options, we realized that we thought we could uh, do it in a way that would provide a better offering mm. uh, for financial institutions and other clients in a way that complements existing offerings very, very well. Now, it's a young entity because it started in 2019. It's almost as young as me. But what sort of adoption and use cases have you seen since then? And what comes next? Uh, we've seen uh, terrific adoption and use cases. We're, we're pleased uh, with uh, both the market reception from uh, the banks that we've talked to with the, the use uh, of the network, uh, with the banks that have signed on and enrolled, and, and with a lot of the discussions that we've had uh, here at Cybos. 
Ben, it's been lovely to open our Cybus 2022 final day with you. Thank you so much for your time here in the studio. It's Ben Ellis, Global Head of Visa B2B Connect. Thanks once again and enjoy the rest of the day. Terrific. Thank you so much for having me here. Thank you so much for accepting the invitation. <laughs>